Hello again, dear viewer. Once again, we are observing the West. Another week has gone by and two elections have concluded in two European states, the United Kingdom and France. Imagine that. The two countries who are at war against each other more times than their politicians collectively promised to solve the immigration issues during the last 10 years in the summer of 2024 somehow ended up in almost complete synchronization. Only when it came to the issue of forming new governments, but still. All in all, everything went exactly as expected, though. In the United Kingdom, there was a Labour landslide. The Conservatives got thoroughly pummeled, but will live to fight another day. In France, Marine Le Pen's party got pushed back to third place in the second round of the elections. By a completely incompatible coalition. But they did manage to keep her out of power, so that is something, I guess. What was much more surprising to me was the fact that many clever people on the internet were surprised by this result. As far as I could tell, this was pretty predictable. In the United Kingdom, the first past the poll system always favors the pre-established parties. Which means there was absolutely no chance that the oldest political party in the country would have ever been able to get anything less than 100 seats. They got 121. And that's with only 23% of the vote. Reform UK, on the other hand, gained 14% of the vote, which is roughly 4 million votes, and they only got 4 seats in the government. No, wait, 5 apparently. In France, it was déjà vu all over again. Just recall all those times that Marine has tried to run for president's office. In 2012, she placed third in the presidential elections with 17.9% of the vote, riding on tails of François Hollande and Nicolas Sarkozy. In 2017 elections, the French deep state had to pull Emmanuel Macron out of their sleeve in order to stop her from winning. And despite all that, she still managed to get into the second round of the elections, getting 34% of the vote. In 2022 election, she lost him in the second round again, with 41.5% of the vote this time. So, as we can see, it was the same pattern for the past 70 years. She gets into the second round of the elections, and her political opponents gang up on her in order to stop her. Your Honor, I rest my case, the system's rigged. Personally though, I'm much more surprised about the fact that so few questions were asked about the possibility of election fraud taking place. Considering all the flimflammery we've seen in the 2020 election in the USA, I figured this would concern people significantly more. If the country that's supposed to be the bastion of democracy has been compromised, what hope is there for any other state?